I'm a long way from Texas, as you can see. I'm not used to this. I've always seen this place in movies growing up as a kid. And uh, now I'm here. And the longer I stay here, the less I see what makes this place special. You know? Okay. All right, that's good. Thank you. Sorry for the bother. Okay, I'm back in my hotel room. So believe it or not, but I've already been here in London for like a whole week. It's like the whole time I've just felt off. I felt sick almost, but I wasn't sick. It's like I've just been waking up at noon every single day and I just have so much fatigue. I've been just laying in bed the entire time I've been here and just like ordering in-room service and watching movies. It's been a mess. It's, it's been a complete, I'm, I'm not lazy. It's just, I, I genuinely like, there was something wrong with my body, but I'm feeling better now, so that's why that's why I'm recording. So let me explain the reason why I'm here in London. So this company called x -Real flew me out here. x is basically like my sugar daddy right now. And I've worked with them before. If you guys remember the flying pizza video and they basically gave me the budget to make that video and I used their glasses to fly the drone. How do you fly a drone with glasses you ask? Well, let me show you. So these are their new x Air 2 glasses. They're augmented reality glasses. So they have a Sony micro OLED display right here, which has very accurate colors and has 1080p resolution in both eyes. It'll basically show you a huge virtual 330 inch screen right in front of your face. So basically it's like having your own personal cinema in your pocket. Okay, so if you look closely, you can see that I'm watching a movie right now. For me, this is amazing for you. It just looks like I'm wearing glasses. Like these glasses are very fashionable. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a VR headset or anything. Like I could take these anywhere. I could watch movies on the plane or I could watch movies like when I'm on the subway. And they also have speakers right above your ears which has directional audio, which means you're the only one who can hear what you're watching. That way, like let's say I'm watching a movie in a cafe. I'm not bothering other people around me. I could just enjoy the movie for myself. You know what I'm saying? Now the glasses that I promoted in my last video, the flying pizza video, was the first generation of these glasses. These are the second generation. And what's new about these is it has a better design. It's 10% lighter and 10% thinner. It's also a lot more flexible and soft, which is important for something you're wearing on your face. It has a bigger virtual screen. It has a 120 hertz refresh rate, and it now has 500 nits, which is 25% brighter than the previous generation. What all comes in the box is this carrying case, different nose adjustments in case you got a fat nose, glasses adapter in case any of you are nerds and a light shield in case you want to you know block out the light all right now let me show you something uh that's a little mind-blowing but now let me show you the pro so these puppies have one different key feature from the normal version and that new feature is something called electrochromic dimming which is a technology that i've never even heard of so basically with a touch of a button like magically watch watch my eyes I can shade them. I can turn them into sunglasses at the click of a button. What? Huh? Since when did we have the possibility to do this on earth? I don't, I don't understand. Look at that. Click. Oh, there's my eyes again. Click. Oh, and my eyes are gone. So basically you can use these indoors. You can use these outdoors and you don't need, you basically don't need this shading part that it comes with. And these are perfect for traveling as well because you can watch your movies off of just these small things. Because like, look, look at the TV that my hotel room came with. How am I supposed to watch a movie off, off this small TV that's in the corner? And I just want to thank x for sponsoring this video and for flying me out. Um, I got to host their UK announcement video. 
Anybody want to come and hop on this bus? We got a new exciting way to experience cinema. So you can buy your own x -Roll Air 2 glasses with the link in the description. Also, I just want to say thank you to x -Roll again for flying me out to London and for just like having me be a part of this. They got one of those red London buses and they turned it into a moving cinema and they reached out to me to be the host. It was, it was really fun. Uh, but yeah, thank you x -Roll. genuinely. I love you guys. This is supposed to be a prayer hand, but my other hand is holding the camera, so thank you. I have been here in the UK for so long, it seems, <clears throat> and this is the first time that I have actually enjoyed my food. There's something about England where it just seems to be impossible to find okay tasting food. Like everything has been underneath okay. The most popular food here is fish and chips. I'm sorry, England. I'm, I'm sorry to the UK community or whatever, but your food fucking sucks here. <laughs> People dress better here. It's like they, they have a better brain for picking out clothes. And not only that, but they care for them. Like, it, it, it feels that they iron their pants, they, they properly wash them, they take care of their clothing. And a lot of the things that people do here make zero sense. Like, take the fountains, for example. When you go to a bathroom, most of the fountains work like, like there's two faucets. One is burning hot and the other is ice cold. And you have to try and figure out like some type of way to like quickly mix them together so you don't burn the shit out of your hands or so you don't freeze your hands. It makes no sense. <coughs> I have a headache right now. I'm just not, not doing well. It's a bit chilly mate, isn't it? It's actually really cold. I'm trying to pretend like I'm, I'm fine. And the only reason why I'm dining outside is so that I could talk to myself, so I could talk to my camera. I don't want people staring at me while I do this. Another thing about people in the UK is that they lie a lot here. The amount of times that I've been lied to my face is crazy. Like, I've, I've lost count. Take these two situations, for example. There was this one time that I went into a wing shop and I asked the guy, hey, are the wings boneless? And he said, oh yeah, they're boneless. So I'm like, cool, okay, well, let me get a six piece. The wings come and uh, guess what? They have bones in them, a lot of them. Like, I know he heard me loud and clear. <laughs> like, what was the reason? What was the reason to lie to me about that? This other time, um, I went into a cafe. I don't like to drink too much caffeine, so I usually try to just get old classic coffee, which is hard to find nowadays for some reason. I don't know why, but every coffee shop only sells Americanos and lattes. Like, coffee is just kind of dying right now. And Americanos and lattes have like 150 milligrams of caffeine. So sometimes I just want an old classic cup of coffee, you know? So I asked the girl, hey, do you have coffee here? She's like, yes. And then I double check with her. I'm like, it's not an Americano, right? It's a cup of coffee. She's like, yes, it's a cup of coffee, not an Americano. So I'm like, cool. Well, let me get a medium cup then. So I give her two pounds and then she turns around to her barista and she whispers, one Americano, please. And I'm like, bro, I'm right here. You just lied to my face. But it's like, why? It's like there's a lying problem here in the UK. That is the biggest thing I'm taking from this trip. I don't trust you if you're from the UK. I'm sorry, but I just don't. You know, the more that I come here to Europe, the more I'm realizing that I want to live here instead of America. I mean, I know I was just talking shit about it like a few seconds ago, but there are good things about this place. 
I mean, uh, the first thing is that the food doesn't make you fat and it doesn't like give you hormones. Can you imagine that? Food without hormones? Isn't that crazy? And then obviously the tipping culture in America is just fucked. Here people will refuse to get tipped and it's amazing. <clears throat> Look at that, bro. Call me Spider-Man. Fuck. That's way more than I thought it was gonna be. But doing all of this international travel, I'm kind of like subconsciously trying to pick out a place to live. Rome, Italy sounds nice. Or somewhere in China, or Amsterdam. Amsterdam is also really fun. The food in Amsterdam is also so good. And I went there for 10 days and I didn't stop eating. I, I ate the normal amount that I usually eat. Came back to America and I lost five pounds. Five pounds. That just already shows you how processed American food is. And I also do realize that one of the reasons why I want to move to Europe is just so that I could be different. I realize that subconsciously there is a little bit of like, oh, I just want to be the one in my friend group that just decided I'm going to live in Europe. I'm going to be the friend who lives in Italy. I'm just not reachable. You got to find me somewhere in a cafe in Paris, sipping a, a latte and eating a croissant. I realize there's a little bit of that like, Oh, I just want to be the odd one out. But you know what? I've always been the odd one out. I started day one whenever I was born black and Mexican. Being born black and Mexican, it's already like a fresh start. Like, hey, you're not going to fit in with anybody. At school, you're not going to be able to sit with the Mexicans or the black kids. You're just going to have to float around. You're going to have to make your own table. So yes, I do realize I just want to be different a little bit. But fuck it, bro. I'm already different. Am I making any sense right now? I'm not sure. Okay, let's get a move on. You know what? I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it a try. All right, I got my fish and chips. Quick little food review. Let's see what this is all about. You UK people are tripping. I can't believe I'm watching Baby Driver in a bus right now. This is, this is ridiculous. And you can't even tell. You can't even tell that I'm watching a movie. I just look like a cool guy with sunglasses, minding my own business. Thank you again to x -Ro for flying me out to London, and thank you for sponsoring this video. You guys could buy your own pair of x Air 2 glasses using my link in the description. The shading actually works really well in daylight. 